Ahoy mates, I'm Zeronius and welcome to my den. Today I shall tell you of the wicked shenanigans my TTRPG group have done in the four sessions we had as of yet. The system we are using are my own, which puts emphasis on custom character creation. So our cast is a regenerating troll ogre thing, not unlike those in Warhammer Fantasy, a redneck mutant ninja gator, a voidborn hentai monster, a big tiddy honey and nurse, a British orc with bug honey addiction, and an energy bone golem. The setting is in a cursed wasteland where the dead don't stay so for long, and the living have trouble remaining so, whereas the story is that the remnant court of the undead god who made this wasteland want it back for themselves. So they sent the party as a vanguard to build a forward base for their military operations. Since they operate quite mafia-like, one could say this is Medieval Fallout Necromancy Edition. Session 2 Boney, the golem, doesn't show up and doesn't respond to mails, so gets declared a cover and covered and written out of the story. Fuck you, Boney, the bone golem. The party successfully avoided all the furries and emotrians I prepared, so they arrive at the bandit camp before sunset. In there they can see that it not only contains Robin Yahood and his melancholy challenged gay man, but also a considerable posse of women and children, half of the latter being less than a year old and mulatto. Party rolls for stealth, so they don't get found by the camp's inhabitants, and they get such good results that the cursed trees themselves try and succeed, hiding the 5 meter tall ogre with their branches. After about an hour of brainstorming, the idea forms that they should approach the problem from different angles. The bug lady, who is the sole member of the party with at least a bit of social skills, will attempt diplomacy with the campwomen, whilst the ninja gator and hentai monster sneak in and try to kidnap Robbie Yahood, by the Voidburn's special shenanigans. Big Tiddy Bug GF enters the camp with relative ease as the inhabitants seem to recognize her even though she is here for the first time. She talks to the woman and they bitch about the gay man not giving them dicks and taking all the household jobs since homosexuals. So her argument is that they should join the newly taken undead village where they soon have shalmates and work. Since the village is currently inhabited by spooky, scary skeletons, only a quarter of the women and their offspring join, who upon entering the hiding spot of the party notice the humongous ogre and his apparently branded schlong. For the time being, they are content. They also shared information about how to get water in this desolate place, plus about the frequent NFT traders they occasionally robbed. Since planned diplomacy only borne limited fruit, Plan Loot and Scoot was initiated. The hentai monster opened a rift in space back to the party's hiding place, where the ninja gator grabbed the rapper and entered the rift, his tentacle friend following soon after. Robin Yahood was quite shocked by these events, but it was nothing compared to what was to come. The ogre and the red gator Jojo poses. The tentacle monster molested him in every way imaginable, and then some. The bug lady was cheering them from the side, and the British orc went to bed because he was dead. Higher stuff. Yeah. They rolled high, so this BS flew, and Robin Yahood wasn't just intimidated into submission, but also gained a fetish for tentacles, denouncing his past bitches for his new octopusy queen. Since the melaninally challenged gay men, which were referred to as a gamer word by the party from this point, were de facto worshipping him, so they followed the party, and so did the rest of the women and children, since they now needed protection from the dangers of the forest. On the way back to the village, the party witnessed a cinematic scene, where Gunther, the semi-head of the village, was attacked by a aggressive furry cosplayer, ripped off his bony arm and in true canine fashion started winnowing on it. This obviously was pretty as foolish from the viewpoint of Gunther, so the mofo took one of his sharp ribs into his remaining hand and started shanking a bitch, and soon his spooky family 
rushed to help him lynch the degenerate. When the party arrived, the bloke not only killed the beast, but also taken back his arm and skinned the fucker for its large wolfish pelt, which now he wore with pride. The remaining meat and bones were then cooked by the bandit women and consumed by the newly acquired settlement. Well, okay, it was mostly the yogurt. Guy eats a lot.